It's Pastor Mike Filiver, Senior Pastor at Heritage Presbyterian Church, and it's cold. <laughs> There's snow out there a little bit, sort of, kind of, and ice and other cold things out there. So um, this is Thursday morning at uh, the 11th of February. We're here for morning prayer. Let me unwrap here. We're here for morning prayer today. I want to say happy birthday to a couple of folks. I want to say happy birthday to Mary Willis Thompson. Wow! I hope Henry teaches you, treats you well, or he treats you well. And also, happy birthday to John McNeely Hudson. Whew. Almost, wow, you made it. All right, happy birthday. Woo! All right, that's it for the celebration. We're here for morning prayer. And at morning prayer, we're just, we've been working through the Trinity hymn book, just very briefly, a couple of verses from a hymn. Today we're looking at a, 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 an old hymn called um, Our God, Our Help in Ages Past. All kinds of Christians have sung this throughout the, the last 200 years or more. Our God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Under the shadow of your throne, your saints have dwelt secure, sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame, from everlasting you are God, to endless years the same. That was uh, the hymn, Our God, Our Help in Ages Past, from the Trinity Hymn. Well, now we are in our Bible reading. We are simply just reading our way through Proverbs, and we are now at Proverbs 14. Proverbs 14. The wisest of women builds her house, but folly with her, but folly with her own hands tears it down. Whoever walks in uprightness fears the Lord, but he who is devious in his ways despises him. By the mouth of a fool comes a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. Where there are no oxen, the manger is clean, but abundant crops come by the strength of the ox. A faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge is easy for a man of understanding. Leave the presence of a fool, and there you do not meet words of knowledge. For there you do not meet the words of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to discern his way, but the folly of fools is deceiving. Fools mock at the, guilty off at the guilt offering, but the upright enjoy acceptance. The heart knows its own bitterness, and no stranger shares its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Even in laughter, the heart may ache and the end of joy may be grief. The backslider and heart will be filled with the fruit of his ways and a good man will be filled with, with the fruit of his ways. The simple believes everything, but the prudent gives thought to his steps. One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is reckless and careless. A man of quick temper acts foolishly, and a man of evil devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow down before the good, the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is disliked even by his neighbor, but the rich has many friends. Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner. But blessed is he who is generous to the poor. Do not go astray. Uh, do they not go astray who devise evil? Those who devise good meet steadfast love and faithfulness. In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. The crown of the wise is their wealth, but the fool of follies, but, but the folly of fools brings folly. A truthful witness saves lives, but one who breathes out lies is deceitful. In the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence, and his children will have a refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life that one may turn away from the snares of death. In the multitude of people is the glory of a king, but, with a, but, with, with, but without people a prince is ruined. <laughs> Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. A tranquil heart gives life to the flesh, but envy makes the bones rot. Whoever oppresses a poor man insults his maker, but he who is generous to the needy honors him. 
The wicked is overthrown through his evil doing, but the righteous finds refuge in his death. Wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding, but it makes itself known, but it makes itself known even in the midst of fools. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. A servant who deals wisely has a king's favor, but his wrath falls on one who acts shamefully. That was Proverbs chapter 14. So let's pray. Lord God, we are so grateful for Mary and, and John and for their birthday today. We pray that you'd be with both of them, that uh, it would be a wonderful day where they are and that they would sell as they celebrate, they would remember that the life that you have blessed them with is a gift from you, that each day and each, each moment is your blessing to them and may that thrill them. We pray for this coming year for them, Lord, that they would find themselves in the way of wisdom, the wisdom of the prudent who can discern their ways, that Lord, that they would grow and um, thrive in um, taking thought of their steps and that they would find themselves strengthened uh, greater and greater. And Lord, we pray for uh, those who are in need. We pray especially right now for a young, uh, a young child, a 13-year-old Luis in Peru. Uh, we pray for the treatment um, as his tumor is being, um, being treated there, um, that it would be an effective treatment. We pray also for another person that I know who just found out that they have a, a cancerous tumor around a nerve that has been debilitating them. They just found it after many, many months of extreme pain. I pray that you would bring that person comfort and bring that person's spouse comfort, Lord, in ways that will uh, help them. And I pray that uh, the treatment would be very, very effective and be noticed immediately. Lord, we pray for others. We pray for uh, those who are preparing for the ministry Think about John Robert going uh, to a seminary and others, Lord, that you would bless them and guide them as they go through seminary. Um, I pray uh, and grateful, Lord, for Mary Thompson and, and, and Lori Thompson and the work they've done there at Trinity School for Ministry, a, a seminary preparing um, many for ministry. I pray for Taylor and Reagan and, and Weston and Ben and Andrew and Rincey and their kids, Lord. We'd ask you to watch over them that you would guide and direct them, that you would fill them with good things, that you would draw them close to you day after day after day. Lord, for all of us, we pray. We ask, Lord, as your word says, that um, the one who devises good meets steadfast love and faithfulness. May we be known <clears throat> as those who devise good and uh, thriving in that. And also your word says that the fear of the Lord uh, in the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence and children will have a refuge. And in the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life and the, that one may turn away from the snares of death. Lord God, may we walk truly in the fear of the Lord in a way that is uh, strong and right, um, one that builds righteous confidence and that is a refuge for our children. Um, walking in the way of your fear, Lord, that would thrive and, and flourish with life and lead us away from the snares of death. And Lord, we pray for our country and we pray for the country of Myanmar and Ethiopia and um, um, and Yemen and many other places, Lord. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. We would pray, Lord, for true righteousness to begin to prevail more and more in all nations of the earth, including our own country. Almighty and everlasting God in whom we live and move and have our being, who has made us for yourself so that our hearts are restless until they find the rest in you. Grant us purity of heart, strength of godly purpose, and soundness of mind, so that no selfish passions nor ambitions would hinder us from knowing your will, and no weakness, laziness, nor cowardliness would keep us from doing your will, that in your light we would see light clearly, and in your service we would find perfect freedom through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, that was morning prayer on this frigid, cold uh, Thursday morning, uh, the 11th of February. We'll be back tomorrow and pick up right where we left off. And until then, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.